Hey guys, um, I wanted to show you something that I made tonight. Um, I know I've been talking about for a long time, it, well, it seems like a long time to me anyways. I've been talking about how I want to make a tag. I've seen a lot of people make them, and so I finally decided, hey, I'm going to try my hand at making it. Well, I made one, and it turned out absolutely nothing how, like, I wanted it to. Um, um, yeah, I wanted it to be, like, pink-themed. I wanted to make like all oh, this cute pink tag. Well, I'll just show you. It's not pink. So <laughs> I have my camera. Pro I didn't feel like hooking my camera up to the tripod. It's downstairs, and I'm just too lazy to walk downstairs. So it's like rigged up on some batteries and stuff. But anyways, so here's my tag. Does that look pink to you? I don't think so. Anywho, um. So, I didn't do the back, so there's the plain back. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys, are you supposed to decorate the back of a tag? If you are, well then, see, I already did it wrong. But anyways, here's the tag. Um, I started out, I used the um, vintage photo. I just started, you know, going to town, having fun, da 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 da, -da. And then I took out the reinker, and then I started blotching it with that. And then I got this grand idea in my head, which that didn't turn out how I thought either. See this gold on the side right here? This is all embossed. Um, I have these ink pads that I got from Scrapbook. And one of them is like, it's, supposed to, it's like the Versamark version, which, I mean, it worked, but it just, I don't know, it didn't turn out how I thought. So I used that with, with um, gold embossing ink all the way around. And then these um, flowers are, I don't know, like probably Prima flowers. And then down here, that little spot right there, my hands probably look like I've been playing in dirt. But down here, that's still drying, so that's why it's wet, or white. Um, this is just some trim that I had, I think it's that um, Making Memories one that Scrapbook had. Some lace that I got from my grandma. This is bling probably from Recollections. And this stamp, super glary. This stamp is, I'll see if I can grab it without knocking the camera down. This stamp right here was embossed. It's this stamp right here, just for you. Um, with that ink, like that ink it up, that like embossing one. Which I mean, it works actually pretty good. No, I'm lying to you guys. Actually, that's from Versamark. So everything I just said about that one, that's actually from Versamark. So I lied. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. But this one is from the Ink It Up one. So, and I haven't used it at all. It's been sitting there for like two years and it's still, you know, semi works. So, hey, not too bad. Oh, and there's a little butterfly charm in there. And then there's one up there. So. See, I originally tied some, this is like really light pink ribbon right there in brown because I was going to go with like a really cute pink and brown theme and I just didn't feel like taking the pink ribbon off, but it looks kind of like a clear anyway, so whatever. But this didn't turn out at all how I liked or I wanted it to, so I don't know. This is my first tag, so there it is. I have no idea what to do with it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just keep it so I can see how I, you know, progress along. Here's a close-up, we'll see. I really like that stamp, though, just for you. I like how it's a heart-shaped. But anyways, there we go. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Anywho, I will talk to you guys later. Hope everybody has a good week. Bye, guys. Oh, gosh. Don't fall, camera.